Senegal's Cafontine Beach, everyone fights for survival. Every day there are hundreds that want to board the fishermen's boats. But on this morning, very few are eager to go out to sea. The weather predicts the worst. Last month, seven sailors did not return. Suleiman is the youngest member of the crew. At 14 years old, in principle, he's not allowed to work. Navigation is done without a compass or a GPS, just pure guesswork. After four hours at sea... Like an oracle, the captain sees the sardines. In reality, he's reading the surface of the ocean, a reflection, a ripple. The fish are there. Now it's time for Suleiman to prove his worth. He must jump into the water and make as much noise as possible with his hands and feet in order to stop the sardines escaping the net. Another sailor joins Suleiman. If he ever gets tired, he can always cling to his life jacket. The noise is supposed to scare the sardines. In the water for over an hour, the two swimmers are reaching the limits of their strength. All that work for this. The net contains only a few sardines. On board the boat, disappointment. They must move on. Further off, the captain's eye scrutinizes the surface of the ocean. Paid by commission, none of the sailors can afford to return empty-handed. They've been at sea for eight hours. It's already the fourth time that they have cast their 200 meter long net and pulled it back in using only muscle power without catching a single fish. But this time, the catch is better. Everyone is smiling, but the boat is far from being full. Today, the catch just about covers the cost of the trip. The sailors will earn three euros. The motor has respirated the low.
On arrival, the unloading of tons of fish onto the beach looks like a metaphor of the daily life of the Senegalese. Hundreds of carriers come to offer their services to the fishermen. The rule is simple. First come, first served. So it is a rat race for just a few cents. Okay, I'll find until I have full cash. Okay. Sam, I don't have full cash. I'll find it one more. Sometimes you're mad, sometimes you fall. Okay. Yeah, this is my walk. There are dozens of them who come to take the fish. The fishermen try to keep them behind a rope. In this economy of survival, everyone must keep their head above water. As for the fish, they're not so fresh when they arrive at their destination. After having marinated for hours in the fishing boats, they're stored on the beach with neither ice nor refrigeration. You see, the fish that we have in Senegal, we have in Dakar, in China, in Mali, in Guinea, in Burkina, in Once again, the trucks must cross the country without giving in to the obstacles that the Senegalese roads promise. <laughs>